Uh, hello, I'm Richard Gilroy, Medical Director of the Liver Transplant Program at Intermountain. I'm here with Jennifer Lai. Uh, Jennifer is from the UCSF, one of the leaders in the country in transplantation, but also one of the key and pivotal figures, Jennifer, is in studying frailty. Jennifer, why is frailty important? Frailty is such a critical concept in liver transplant patients because patients with end-stage liver disease really suffer from muscle wasting and malnutrition. They don't want to eat because of their ascites and because they're so exhausted. And that really takes a huge toll on them through weakness and exhaustion and um, sarcopenia and muscle wasting. And that really impacts their quality of life and we have shown through our data also impacts their outcomes. So it impacts the outcomes on both sides of the fence, doesn't it? It impacts their outcomes both before transplant and staying on a wait list, and also after transplant and how long they're in hospital. Absolutely, both sides. Now you, you specifically have done work in frailty in trying to improve the status of patients. Have you had success there? We have had some success so far, although we're just starting those studies. And our programs have focused on home-based rehabilitation. And what we're trying to do is really give patients structured instructions on how to build up their muscle and how to increase their daily activity in order to build up their muscle, improve their nutritional status, and ultimately improve their quality of life and their outcomes before and after transplant. And how are families receiving this? Are they excited? They, both patients and their families are super excited and in fact um, what we're hearing all the time is the patients really, they, they knew they were supposed to exercise, they just didn't know how to exercise and I think that programs, structured prehabilitation programs have been critical in providing patients with those specific instructions, almost like a prescription for what to do in order to improve their outcomes and I have had so many families actually get involved and uh, also doing the same exercise programs with the patients themselves. It's it's really brought people together. And you've found simple ways to identify who is frail and who you should focus on, is that correct? Really simple patient-oriented outcome, or patient-oriented metrics, such as grip strength, walk speed, how easily a, a somebody can stand up and sit down from a chair, and how well a patient can balance for up to 30 seconds. These are really basic metrics that can be done in the outpatient clinic setting and really predict whether somebody lives or dies. Well, I was just sitting in a meeting where you presented your work and it was very well received. What I think is critical now is for others like our program to be able to adopt what you're doing because, again, what are you trying to do? You're giving people the best lives and the best opportunity at life. And for all of us, that's key. We absolutely agree, and that's why we have designed this Liver Frailty Index to consist of components that other centers can adopt very easily. Again, grip strength, how well a patient can stand up and sit down from a chair, how easily they can balance. Any center can do this in the outpatient setting and easily adopt these metrics. And that's key. The other part is on your website where you can actually go to the Frailty Index. I know that our center is going to be adopting that index and having it as part of our protocol for managing these sicker patients. Thank you very much for talking to us today. Thank you very much.